Joining us now from Sri Lanka is Mahesh Johnny. He's a spokesman of the Sri Lankan Red Cross Society. He's via Skype from Colombo. Thank you very much for uh, speaking to us. Bring us up to speed with, with the latest on the rescue efforts. Have you been able to reach all the affected communities? Unfortunately, uh, we have not. Right now, the rescue efforts have been hampered you know, due to bad weather in the area. Uh, rain is picking up from time to time, and even yesterday evening, there has been a landslide, uh, another one, a fresh one, and this is hampering uh, the rescue efforts in the area. And only uh, from yesterday, only 19 bodies have been recovered so far. Do you fear that the death toll could be much higher than the 37 that are already reported? Uh, in this area, we really need to find out what happened to the people who were in these three villages. According to government statistics before, prior to this incident, we know there have been around 220 families living in these areas. So um, we only have found 19 bodies. Now there, is, uh, there are a lot of people, around 1,700 people housed in nine temporary camps in the area. And we are trying to figure out whether have most of the people uh, managed to ev evacuate themselves and try to get to safety. So this is one of the processes that we are going through at the moment. So it's still unclear whether the people that are missing uh, managed to escape before uh, they were buried by the landslides or whether they're, not, they're you know, presumed to be dead and buried by the landslides. Let me ask you about the, the thousands of people who were forced from their homes by these floodwaters and, and the landslides. What's being done to assist these people? Where are they uh, staying? What are they in need of today? So what the Red Cross is doing right now, our volunteers have been going on to most of the temporary camps and they are assisting in first aid, uh, medical support and giving them uh, the food, cooked food and providing them the psychological support they need. This has been done in most of the parts of uh, the country which has been badly affected. We are focusing uh, around five districts which is like severely affected, uh, especially in Colombo, in Gampaha, in Kalthara and also in uh, the uh, area where the landslide occurred in Kegor. So these are one of the things that we've been doing. Right now there is a dearth of fresh water and also dry rations which and especially milk powder, which we really need to uh, get to the people who've been affected. And the Red Cross is doing everything we can in order to mobilize uh, these supplies in order to get to the people affected. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, Mahesh Joni, spokesman for the Sri Lankan Red Cross via Skype there from Colombo. Thank you.